Well, finally got a chance to put the kayak in the water this afternoon. This wasn't really a well-planned trip, but uh, the tide's wrong, real windy, but I uh, got my good friend Lou Perros tagging along, and uh, we're going to be doing a little little topwater fishing. Matter of fact, we fixing to cut right into the action right here. We both got a fish on here already. I don't even have the camera running yet, but uh, Lou's got a trout on, and I've got a nice little snook. We're fishing with some uh, mirror lures. I believe Lou's probably using the same thing I am. It's one of my favorite mirror lures for top water. It's a, it's a greenback floater, a 5M18. And I've just caught a, a world of fish on one of those things. This is actually Lou's first trout right here that he's caught. I'm fixing to measure him up. He's uh, looks like he's really close to making it, but he ends up falling about a quarter of an inch short. So we went ahead and turned him loose. And like I said, it was a really windy afternoon this afternoon, but uh, we were able to get out of most of it by hitting up in this creek. It's the uh, tail end of the incoming tide, and uh, even though it's not the tide that I really would prefer to fish, uh, uh, that last 45 minutes before dark, there's always a little bit of action there. So, and what I'm doing here is I'm fishing the mouth of, or mainly the mouth of some small feeder creeks that are tying into this main creek right here, and uh, just looking for any kind of structure, uh, any kind of little cuts or create a little deeper spot. Maybe that the water's getting channeled around an oyster bar or something like that. Uh, uh, little points. Um, uh, maybe some overhanging branches that overhang the water a little bit to give a fish a little place to hide up against a bank and create a little ambush spot. But primarily where the, the mouths of the creeks tie in and uh, where the two waters come together, they'll create a little eddy down through there. And the uh, predator fish have a tendency to, to lay in the slack water in a little ambush position and wait for the bait to come by and they'll rush out there and grab them. So that's what we're doing here. Another. This is another cast I like to use right here. So, fixing to cast one parallel with the bank right here, just a little ways off. And you see, I'm gonna reposition the kayak just a little there to, to keep the plug running just parallel with the bank. Keeps the plug in the strike zone for a long time, and uh, works really good. Fouled the plug, you knocked it out of the water. And the action was a little slow, but uh, and we didn't have a whole lot of time to fish. But we're fixing to tie into a pretty good snook here in just a second, right here. If you've never caught a snook on top water, I can tell you it's an awesome thing to behold. They got a just a super strike. I really hate fishing in the wind. I know you can hear it blowing in the microphone here pretty good, but uh, I tell you, when you got a fish like this on, it uh, it uh, tends to make you forget about the wind.
Woohoo! Look at that thing. Woo. He's about uh, 21, 22 inches. Really nice snook. That's a nice fish there. Oh man, he'd eat good, Bubba. I had visions of giving that fish a hot oil bath, but unfortunately he was a little bit short of the slot. And the season had just closed about six days prior, so we had to let that one go for another day. That's a pretty fish right there. Five M eighteen mirror lure. Five M.